America. Happy July 4th, guys. Um, yeah, happy July 4th. Shit, here at the gym. Why? Because freedom, that's why. Uh, if you uh, are watching this on July 4th, use the discount code LOA4TH, so that's LOA4TH, for 10% off LOA gear on the LOA store. Link in the description box. Here at the gym now uh, for my back and arms workout. Uh, really excited to get this one in. Um, another one in the books. Constantly building on these damn arms right here, working my way to 18s, hopefully. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, here's footage from today's workout 265, three sets of eight, close grip bench press. I love close grip bench press, I'm doing it uh, two times, uh, one or two times a week. Yeah, one or two times a week. So, I've been having lots of progress on it, and I really love it. Love this exercise. I filmed uh, two back exercises today after a close grip bench, I did weighted pull ups and pull downs. And didn't get out on film because something bad happened with the camera. <laughs> and uh, after my push downs, I did uh, chest supported rows, and the camera screwed up on that too. Anyways, I've actually had uh, been having some thoughts these last few days, um, just with my own goals in terms of body composition and whatnot. And uh, you guys know that I was a little bit apprehensive to cut. I was like, you know, I don't really want to. Um, I'm still kind of in that mode, even though I kind of have said that. I'm going to be taking an eight-week cut uh, in terms of just uh, my caloric intake, just putting it into a deficit, uh, losing some pounds, dropping down to 175 to 180. I still haven't completely made up my mind, uh, simply because I still, I, I could honestly still bulk five months at two pounds per month and still uh, be underneath 20% body fat or around 20% at the, you know, once I hit like 195, close to 200 pounds. Um, and uh, that's still quite a ways to go, and I feel like I, I feel like I, I'm in a great muscle building groove at the moment. So I'm kind of in a dilemma. I'll probably spend the next day or two thinking about it still, since um, since yeah, I'm not at my top of my uh, body fate comfortability level, which for me is between eight and twenty. Um, I could go all the way up to twenty and be cool. I can get down to eight and be cool comfortable so I'll, I'll make up my mind in the next couple days let me know what you guys think should I be cutting should I be bulking to be honest my heart is leaning more towards not really worrying about dropping any weight since I'm having mad gains lately so. plus I'm still looking pretty decent and not just that but I've kind of had a goal just within myself to work my way up to 18 inch arms measured and granted that would be me towards the end of my um, my bulk you know towards 195 pounds but the last time I measured at the peak of a bulk, they were literally like 17. And they're currently 17 here. Uh, they were, they have been 17 since 185 pounds. So um, that, that's, that's some cool progress to me. And even if, you know, I do uh, lose arm size as I cut, uh, that definitely says that they, you know, they're bigger. <laughs> they're bigger than they were before. So that's a goal of mine. Aside from that, um, after 18 inch arms fully bulked, um, it would be nice to work my way up to a 275 OHP standing stiff one day, as well as uh, considering powerlifting. Um, and it's easy to just be like, yeah, I'd like to go elite, but that's that's a lot of work in terms of in terms of powerlifting. So I'm like to accomplish this little uh, personal goal of mine. Um, it feels good too because it's not necessarily rooted from insecurity or um, or any sort of negativity. Uh, it's really just like I'm just molding myself at this point uh, and having a lot of fun doing it. So, yeah, it's really comfortable. It is really comfortable being able to choose my programming and what exercises I'm doing, how I lift based off of the love of lifting and uh, not necessarily because I feel weaknesses or I feel uh, insecure or, or any of those things. I don't know. It's just a stage that not everyone actually gets to, to be honest. What are your thoughts on this? I'm just glad that I'm not, you know, I, I'm not insecure about it. Home now, making myself a custom whey shake uh, flavors I'm using today. Let's go with chocolate and banana cream. That is damn good. 